today's topic is very relevant you have nicely nicely mentioned in the covid pandemic because we know the history of mankind is interwoven with the history of infection for millions of the years mankind has fighted against the pathogen organism and it is our strong immune system that has evolved over millions of years helped us to survive on this earth and to get the natural selection so miss immunology against the infection is a mystery and it is becoming more relevant and so many question is coming and we become we have a curiosity to understand what is the immunology when some virus or bacteria attack our body how we survive so let us see in next 20 to 25 minutes we i will try to simplify the issue how our body react against the microbes that try to damage our our body so what is immunity immunity means that prevent or limit infection or injury of a host when caused by microorganism or their product so immunity what we have to fight against the pathogenic organism they try to destroy our body it is divided into two way one is the acquired immunity one is innate immunity innate immunity and acquired immunity difference is like a difference between a bsf and army when there is some intruder suppose somebody somebody trying to enter that is reason that is reason it means meeting chale zoom meeting chale api mane ek lagte hi lage please mute i request all please mute so difference between innate immunity and acquired immunity is like a difference between the bsf and army when there is some some oh ho oh, hey uh, monotos please tell everybody to mute otherwise noise is coming when some intruder try to enter in a, in in our country the first is the first first challenge comes from the border security force they give a more a non specific whether he is a army man from the neighbor country or the, or the common villager they do not understand they try to prevent any entry in our country so they act within minutes when they fail then they inform the army who lies behind and to come into the fray then the indian army comes and army is a more specific they 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 do the fighting not only the villagers with the specific the army of the neighbor country that are that are trying to intrude in our country so it is like this innate immunity is a more non specific whoever try to enter innate immunity try to prevent they acts within a minute and there is no memory but acquired immunity is a very specific they they actually attack or prevent intrusion of a specific organism but they cannot act within minute they act within days and there is a memory memory means after the in after the entry of the infection or after the confrontation between our our immune cell and outsider pathogenic organism some memory some memory remains of the previous previous uh, fighting between immune cell and the uh, and the and the pathogenic organism this is called memory so innate immunity has no memory but acquired immunity can remember that this type of this type of attack happens in in, in the past so first i am coming into the brief of the innate immunity innate immunity basically is given can be given by skin mucosa natural killer cell neutrophil eosinophil macrophage and also by some protein like complement and chemokines and basically innate innate immunity have the following features it basically more act by phagocytosis that means it engulf the organism and destroy within the cytoplasm by some uh, by enzyme it can cause the inflammation that means many inflammatory mediators come and destroy the organism but it has no memory i told before so the innate immunity cannot remember what happens in the past every time they act separately and there is no improvement of the first infection that means whatever the response of the first infection same response happens after the second infection but this innate immunity is not adequate for the survival that means if the patient have no acquired immunity only innate immunity it is not adequate for the survival so these are the some some of the uh, some of the uh, structure that give the immune immunity even the tr that the lysozyme enzyme that is also important to give the innate immunity it is the ph acid media in the stomach 
normal residual flora of the gut, keratin layer of the skin, respiratory epithelium, all give some protection against the invading organism. And these are the important cell and mediators that also help in immunity, such as neutrophil, macrophage, natural killer cells. Then these cells can cause can cause the inflammation and can destroy the organism, or they can invite the complement protein that activate the inflammation and try to contain the uh, contain the infection when trying to enter uh, into the body. So innate immunity basically have two components. Either it directly destroy a retard growth of the bacteria, and another component like BSF, when BSF fail, they inform the Indian Army who lies behind the army camp. So in that way, innate immunity can inform the, inform the acquired immunity cells and very particularly the T cell. And this, this is mediated by the macrophage or dendritic cell. So macrophage or dendritic cell act via media between the innate immunity and acquired immunity. T cell is a component of a acquired immunity. So different components, different cells of the innate immunity, very important is the neutrophil. Neutrophil is an important member of a component of innate immunity. It basically contains the lysozyme. I told this act by the phagocytosis. It on surface, it has no surface, uh, surface antibody or do not express any, any, any MSC molecule or do not present antigen the T cell. It directly engulfs the organism and within the cytoplasm, it has they have the several enzyme within, within the granule of the lysozyme and, and this degradative enzyme destroy the organism within the cell. This is the basic function of the neutrophil. Eosinophil, it has a weak phagocytic activity, but action is in, on the surface of the eosinophil, there is some antibody called IgG or IgE. This, this antibody can attach to its parasitic larva and, and, and when it is attached with parasitic larva with this Ig antibody, then the within the eosinophil, there are granules that contain the leukotriene. The leukotriene is released and try to create a, a inflammatory uh, uh, media and this inflammation can kill the parasite. Basophil or mast cell, similarly, it, has a, it is a weak phagocytic activity, but basophil contain IgE on the surface like eosinophil and due to the IgE, it cross-links with, with the invading uh, antigen or organism and it releases the histamine. This histamine causes the inflammatory reaction. So in case of in uh, so in, in case of eosinophil, they release the leukotrienes, and in case of basophil, they release the histamine. Mechanism action is more or less simil similar. Another is the natural killer cell. This is a part. This is a part of the uh, uh, lymphoid. Uh, these are derived from the lymphoid progenitor cell. So basically, that some lymphoid cell actually passes through the thymus, but this lymphoid cell do not pass through the thymus directly. Directly, it, it is a part of the innate immunity. So it is a large granular lymphocyte. It does not have any antigen receptor or CD protein. So it does not, it is not a very, cannot give a specific immunity against the organism. It's just recognized it is a pathogenic organism and directly kill the organism. How it kill? It produce the perforin. That means it produce some perforation on the cell wall of the organism. And through that perforation, it intrude the different enzyme present into the cytoplasm of NK cell. This enzyme enter into the invading organism and destroy the cell. So natural killer cell give a more a non-specific uh, uh, immunity uh, or uh, immunity against the different pathogens. Macrophage, very important because this is the link between the innate immunity and acquired immunity. It has a several important function in, 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 in giving immunity against the organism. It can directly kill the organism it displays the MSC2 molecule. What is this? I will come later on. This is the type of uh, type of protein, glycoprotein, present on the surface of the different cell, also in microphage, through which the antigen of the offending organism is presented to the CD4. Because when, when an organism is engulfed by the macrophage or any cell, whole 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 virus or bacteria. Is, 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 is not presented to the CD4. Some of the particular antigen is presented, is picked up by the, is clipped, it clipped and picked up by the cell, there's a macrophage. And that, that clipped then specific molecule is presented on the surface by the MSC2 molecule. And macrophage, this antigen is presented to CD4 to inform that this type of, of organism 
and entered in this body now your duty to react and destroy the organism this is the role of the macrophage macrophage also have another action macrophage release some mediator that stimulate the liver liver release the release the crp crp attached on the surface of the organism when the crp is attached to the surface of the organism it activate the complement i will later on um, come to the few slide on the complement how it act so when the complement is activated complement invite the inflammation and destroy the bacteria so that is why in case of different infection we get raised crp crp is a marker that that some marker of inflammation that means some pathogenic organism has destroyed has invaded in your body and to destroy the organism high crp is required to to activate the inflammation via complement so macrophage can directly kill macrophage can present organism to acquired immunity site macrophage can can uh, can initiate the inflammation through through uh, releasing more crp from the liver another important cell is the dendritic cell dendritic cell is a long long process it 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 lies behind the skin and mucosa so when the pathogenic organism invaded through the skin the dendritic cell engulfs and through the long process because t cell mostly live in the lymphoid cell so through the long process that present the antigen to the lymphoid cell to inform acquired immunity site that organism has has entered in this body so in this way this help in macrophage in presenting antigen that has invaded to the acquired immunity sites so antigen presentation is the organism is engulfed by the macrophage or dendritic cell and on their surface there is a msc molecule when the organism is engulfed within the macrophage or dendritic cell first it is clipped into the part and all the proteins are not antigenic some of the protein is antigenic so so suppose in in the covid virus what we are seeing is the spike protein that is antigenic so the antigenic or representative protein that is that can induce the immunogenicity that is presented on the surface by msc2 molecule and msc2 molecule present this antigen to the t helper site to inform the organism has invaded t helper cell through his surface receptor t cell surface receptor recognize the antigen and act accordingly how it act i will come later on so in summary the phagocytes of the macrophage by the macrophage or dendritic cell dendritic cell they can give the innate immunity and can directly destroy the organism on the other hand it can inform the acquired immunity when acquired immunity is informed the t cell first is activated when t cell is activated it can stimulate the b cell b cell can produce the antibody that antibody will destroy the organism and some of the b cell and some of the t cell will remain in the system as a memory cell to recognize in future with smaller amount of antigenic challenge so another is a pattern recognition system you know that that different different immunity against different organism is different suppose you were infected with the mycobacterium tuberculosis there is a cell mediated immunity that is more important but you were infected with the capsulated organism suppose say streptococcus it is antibody which is more important so cell mediated immunity basically given by the t cell and antibody response given by the b cell and this class switch the pattern recognition which type of immune system will be more activated again this is called pattern recognition again this is given by the macrophage they release the differential uh, interleukin or cytokines that either activate more the b lymphocyte or activate more the t lymphocyte so pattern recognition and class switching this is a very important function of the macrophage so macrophage play a very important role in our immune system particularly linking between the innate immunity and acquired immunity so with this brief uh, brief review of the uh, innate immunity now i am coming to the acquired immunity the character of the acquired immunity is the diversity that can it can react against the millions of organisms it is a diversity it can recognize millions of uh, antigen that is not self and specificity specific it is not a non specific it is very specific one type of antibody it is one type of um, one type of antigen only and memory this immunity can remember what happened in the past and in future 
they can react more promptly with smaller amount of antigen. So component I divided one cell mediated immunity, one humoral immunity. Again, cell mediated immunity in the two part we know from the our undergraduate time that is the one CD4 T lymphocyte and CD8 T lymphocyte. And humoral immunity basically it produces the B cell, B cell produces the antibody, and some of the B cell remain as a memory cell. So this is the basic structure of the acquired immunity. So what is the antigen? Antigen, I told the whole virus or whole bacteria is not the immunogenic. It is the molecule, particular molecule of the organism that react of the antibody. That is called antigen. That is specific for a particular organism. There is an antigen. And immunogen that induce the immuno uh, immune response. And epitope, again, among the antigen, some of the portion that react specifically with anti antibody, that is called epitopes. So antigen, epitopes, and immunogen act similarly, but has some, some uh, difference in their, uh, uh, in their definition. So now we are coming to the origin of the immune cell. Uh, with this understanding, with this physiology, it will be easy to understand the, uh, the immunology. First, the stem cell, that, the, that is the multipotent hematopoietic stem cell. It is divided into two groups. One is the myeloid progenitor, one is the lymphoid progenitor. In the lymphoid progenitor, basically, they produce the lymphocyte. And lymphocyte basically have the two components. One is B lymphocyte, one is T lymphocyte. T lymphocyte passes through the thymus and is differentiated. And B lymphocyte with the antigenic challenge transform with the plasma cell and can produce the antibody. And another component of the lymphoid progenitor is the natural killer cell. They do not differentiate. They give mostly the innate immunity, more a non-specific immunity, though it is originated from the lymphoid progenitor. And myeloid progenitor, this one is the uh, megakaryocyte, produce the platelet, one is the erythrocyte, one is the mast cell, Another important, which is important in this context, is the myeloblast. Myeloblast is differentiated in the four components. One is neutrophil, basophil, eosinophil, and monocyte. And monocyte is differentiated into macrophage. This is the basic physiology we learned in, the, in our physiology days in the first uh, trimester. So I told before that T lymphocyte is differentiated in the thymus. So thymus is very important uh, for differentiation of the T lymphocyte. And, and, at the, uh, and, and you will see the T lymphocyte actually plays a pivotal role in giving immunity against any microbe. So when T lymphocyte comes through the uh, uh, progenitor cell or from the bone marrow, it has no, it is a, like a naked cell. It has no receptor on the surface, no CD4, no CD8 receptor in the surface. It enter into the, in, into the cortex of the thymus. In cortex of the thymus, each T lymphocyte attached to it both receptor, one CD4, one CD8. So in cortex, T cell has two receptors, CD4 and CD8. Then it is attached with either antigen receptor for non-cell protein or antigen receptor for the cell protein. Okay. So now two types of uh, T cell in the, in the cortex of the thymus, both have CD4 and CD8. One group has the antigen receptor for non-cell protein. Another has antigen receptor for cell protein. But if the second category, antigen receptor of the cell protein, comes out through the thymus, that will recognize the cell, cell protein and will destroy, destroy the own, own, own organs. So that is why the, CD, the T lymphocyte that have the receptor for the cell protein is auto-destructed within the cortex of thymus. Okay. So T lymphocyte having CD4 and CD4 both receptor with antigenic receptor for the non-cell protein. That means the protein that are outside the body comes to the medulla. In medulla, T lymphocyte either lose CD4 or CD8. So when it come out from the blood vessel, from the medulla of the thymus, either it has CD4 or CD8 lymphocyte or and the antigen receptor for the non-cell protein and also a MHC protein on the surface. So, three receptor is present in the surface, one antigen receptor for the cell, uh, for the non-cell protein, one MHC protein receptor, one either CD4 or CD8. So, now T cell has come out from the blood vessel and can act accordingly. So, this differentiation in thymus is very important because if the antigen receptor for the cell protein is not destructed, there is the autoimmunity and self-destruction 
uh, of, of your own organs. Regarding the B cell, what happens? So thy from thymus, see either CD4 or CD8 has come out. CD4 T cell is called the T helper cell because this CD4 receptor, the T cell having the CD4 receptor cannot directly destroy virus or bacteria. CD4, they stimulate the CD8 T cell and CD8 is called the cytotoxic T cell because CD8 receptor T cell can directly destroy a cell that contains the virus or a tumor cell. So CD8 T lymphocyte is called cytotoxic because it can directly destroy the uh, uh, cells having the organism or tumor cell, but CD4 only help or stimulate the CD4 to do this act. On the other hand, another, another cell I call the B cell that has come from the, uh, from the lymphoid, uh, lymphoid cell and B cell is differentiated into plasma cell and produce antibody. Again, this B cell is differentiated or stimulated by the T helper cell. So T helper cell has both way function. It can, it can the stimulate the cytotoxic T cell, that is the CD8 T cell. At the same time, it can stimulate the B cell to produce antibody. MSC, because many times I'm uttering this name, the MSC molecule. MSC basically is a, is a, is a complex that present in the short term of chromosome 6. And within the MSC, this is a picture. This is the whole is the MSC complex. And within the, you see, within the complex, within the complex, there is a HLA gene. So HLA, A, B, C, basically code the MSC1 molecule and D gene code the MSC2 molecule. That means whole gene, genetic complex is called the MSC complex. Among these, there is a, there is a HLA, A, B, C complex. This complex produces the MSC1 molecule. This MSC1 and 2 are, they are basically the polypeptide. They present in the surface of the cell. So HLA, ABC produce the MSC1 and, and this, this D gene, they, they produce the MSC2 molecule, but both are glycoprotein. Difference is MSC1 one molecule present in our body in all nucleated cell and CD8 T cell, but MSC2 glycoprotein present in the macrophage dendritic cell and T helper cell. So when our body cell is infected with virus, that virus, when, when enter in our body, then the antigen of the virus is presented on the surface of our, of our own, own cell by the MSC1 molecule. So not the whole virus, it is a part of the virus that is clipped by the different enzyme present in the cytoplasm of our cell. And that antigen is presented outer surface of our cell by MSC1 molecule to be recognized by the immunity cell. Similar way, when macro macrophage engulf on virus or bacteria, that virus or bacteria is clipped within the cytoplasm of the macrophage and the antigenic part that is a specific for the organism is presented on the surface of the macrophage by MSC2 molecule. And through MSC2 molecule, macrophage present this antigen to the CD4 uh, a lymphocytic cell. So this is the function of the MSC1 and 2. HLA is basically gene genetic code. HLA produces the MSC1 or 2, 2 molecule, that is the glycoprotein, that is, that is to be presented on the surface of the different cell to present the antigen on the surface of the cell to be recognized by the immune cell or to present to immune cell. So this is the concept between the MSC molecule 1, 2 and HLA gene complex. So with this, this and now I am coming to how the T cell and B cell act. First I am coming to the T cell. I told before the, it is the CD4 and CD8, two type of marker. CD8 mark T cell is called the effector or cytotoxic T cell that directly can uh, destroy the virus and tumor. I will come how it destroy, I will come later on. And CD4 is a regulatory. That means in one way, it can stimulate the CD8 T cell to destroy more and more virus infected cell. It can stimulate the B cell to produce the antibody or it can stimulate the macrophage to present more, more uh, antigen to the, uh, to, uh, to the acquired immunity site or to increase it, the innate immunity capacity. So, so regulatory T cell can stimulate CD4 T lymphocyte, can stimulate B cell, can stimulate the macrophage.
So activation of the T cell, I saw uh, there is two types. One is CD4 and CD8. Virus infected cell, I explained before, through MSC1 molecule, present the viral antigen to CD8, CD8 marked T cell. And then CD8 T cell destroy the cells that contain the virus. On the other hand, macrophage, when engulf the virus or bacteria, they present the antigen on its surface through MSC class 2 molecule and present to CD4 T cell to, to, to be recognized by the uh, acquired immunity site of the body. This is another important picture, how CD4 acts. I told this is a pattern recognition. Pattern recognition means since some of the suppose streptococcus is infected, the antibody is more important to destroy the streptococcus. But if, if an infected with the mycobacterium tuberculosis, it is the cell mediated immunity that is more important. So there is two type of T helper cell. T helper cell one, T helper cell two. T helper cell one more involved with the or with the cell mediated immunity. For the T helper two is more involved to give the antibody mediated immunity. And this differentiation is done by the different chemokines released from the macrophage. With the macrophage recognize which type of immunity is required by the cell and they regulate the CD4 to produce either more cell immunity um, uh, to give the more cell immunity or to give the more antibody dependent destruction of the organism. Whereas CD4, CD4 T cell, they, they recognize the cell that has the virus inside and they, they, they release some enzyme that causes the holes or pores that is by enzyme perforin with the surface of the virus infected cell. So the water and other enzyme enter within the cell and the virus containing cell is destroyed. And it can also do the program cell death in this way. So CD4 and CD8, how the, they regulate the, uh, the, 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 the immunity that is to be given uh, by your body. So T cell also another two type of function. One is the delayed hypersensitivity, one is cytotoxicity. What is delayed hypersensitivity? I told agents, some of the organism, it is the delayed hypersensitivity is more important. Suppose microbacterium tuberculosis. So when the macrophage engulf the microbacterium tuberculosis, first through interleukin 12, it stimul stimulates the CD4 T lymphocyte. CD4 lymphocyte through gamma interferon further activate the macrophage. So the macrophage can engulf the more and more microbacterium tuberculosis and can give the delayed hypersensitivity because here CD4 T lymphocyte will not activate more the CD8 T lymphocyte because antibody response in this case not important. So here this is called pattern recognition or class switch. It will activate more macrophage to give the delayed hypersensitivity. Cytotoxicity very important. Macrophage suppose has engulfed a virus. So through virus is clipped within the cytoplasm that virus antigen is present to the CD4 T lymphocyte. CD4 T lymphocyte release the interleukin 2. That interleukin 2 activate the CD8 T lymphocyte that is called cytotoxic T cell. So cytotoxic T cell is activated. Now a human cell is infected with the virus. That virus is presented on the surface of the infected cell by MSC1 molecule. So CD8 T lymphocyte which is activated by the CD4 lymphocyte now recognize the viral antigen which is present on the cell surface of an infected cell. So now activated CD4 release the perforin. Perforin causes the holes on the surface of the T cell. You see here, here it can, here it can do the perforin and then CD4 release the granulozyme. Granulozyme enter within the cell and destroy the whole cell. So in this way, macrophage, macrophage and CD4 T lymphocyte and CD4 CD8 T lymphocyte can give immunity against the virus. So that is why against the virus, it is a T cell which is more important. Memory cell, T cell, we know memory cell about the B lymphocyte, but T lymphocyte is very importantly give, give the, uh, uh, give, can give rise to the memory cell, particularly against the viral infection. So secondary response is greater than the primary response and smaller amount of antigen can activate the T cell. That is why one confusion is coming after taking, after the corona infection or after taking the vaccine, the antibody response is not adequate because, and because this may be that memory T cell, which is produced 
memory b cell and produce that is not estimated that is more important you may not have antibody in your in, in your body but if you have after vaccination or after uh, after natural infection adequate memory t cell you have enough immunity against the further infection this memory cell is more important in giving immunity against the secondary infection now in coming beef of the b cell b cell produce the antibody and they can produce a memory cell for future uh, uh, remembering and anti there is a two part on the stem cell pre beta cell is produced pre beta cell produce the beta b cell b cell produce the plasma cell plasma cell here is the antigen antigen dependent that means if b cell is challenged with the antigen then only b cell will be converted to the plasma cell and plasma cell will produce the more and more antibody to destroy the organism so b cell can produce antibody and some of the b cell remain in the system as a memory cell for future recognition of the same invading organism so antibody what is the function it can neutralize the toxin or virus it can act as a opsonizing agent that means when it is opsonized with the organism that can invade the complement and can invade the immune uh, inflammation and can destroy the microbes so this is the function of the b cell either directly destroy the toxin or virus or do the opsonization can activate the phagocytic cell or can activate the complement so two way it can destroy the organism so again the b cell activity uh, have a two type one is t cell dependent one is t cell independent i told several time the t cell immunity play most pivotal role in giving the immunity against the organism here also b cell function if it is dependent or on the t cell it gives a much better immunity suppose here you understand try to understand this is the antigen it is engulfed by the b cell b cell there is a it is clipped and fragment is produced sorry this fragment is presented to the t helper cell by msc2 molecule so now the t helper cell recognize that b cell within the b cell there is some organism so t cell can stimulate the b cell and b cell can produce igg and igm igm and some of the b cell will remain as a memory this is the if so in this way b cell can can be activated through t cell but there is another pathway where b cell directly produce produce the antibody but if the t cell not activated b cell produce only igm antibody no igg so there will be no memory cell so and you know igm is less effective in a, in in giving the immunity and short lasting so the t cell dependent pathway is more effective in giving the immunity against the organism and also for the future memory so 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 t cell independent pathway basically more important for the, the capsulated when there is infection with the capsulated bacterial infection but for the uh, uh, for the other infection is the t cell dependent pathway is more important so primary and secondary response you know very well primary response with the igm and secondary response with the igg when there is a memory cell secondary response will be much greater than the uh, than the uh, primary response and several times i uttered the term the complement complements are basically the protein that augment the activity of the immune system basically they are proenzyme and they are they are activated by the antigen antibody complex and and converted to the complement they opsonize the organism and help in phagocytosis they induce the inflammation they can directly cytolize so it has a three pathway classical pathway alternative pathway lectin pathway when antigen antibody complex is required for action this is called classical pathway when antigen antibody is not required for its action this is called the alternate pathway cytokines this also i uttered several time cytokines are different signaling molecule that mediate and regulate the immunity inflammation and from my previous slide you understand how cytokine regulate the immune system the correlation between the different type of t cell b cell macrophage this is the four system t cell b cell and macrophage uh, and uh, and t helper cell t c among these four is the cytokine that regulate which will be more effective against a particular organism so these are the different classification of the cytokines monokines lipokines chemokines interleukin interleukin means it release from one leukocyte and act on other leukocyte that is why it is called the interleukin 
So interleukin can be of two types. One is a macrophage origin. One is the T lymphocyte origin. Both have the specific function to regulate regulate the immune function in the one body. So different the uh, different the interleukin. Interleukin is also pro-inflammatory and pro-thrombotic. So if there is no not regulated release of the interleukin, that can damage our own system. So that is why so much intricate uh, uh, regulation between the innate immunity and acquired immunity is so much required. And macrophage play is a very important role in the uh, as a uh, as a link between the two system. Otherwise, excessive release of any lymphos any lymphocytes can can destroy the own body. That happens often in the COVID virus infection. Interferon also alpha, beta, gamma, very uh, very three. We know alpha release from leukocyte, beta release from fibroblast, and gamma release from T lymphocytes. So I am coming to the final slide, the summary. That very easy to remember. So virus is virus is engulfed by the macrophage or dendritic cell. What I discuss is the summary. Virus is clipped within the within the cytoplasm of the macrophage. So viral epitope is present on the surface by MSC2 molecule. So MSC2 molecule is, is virus is uh, exposed. This virus is recognized by the T helper cell. So T helper cell is activated. So T helper cell depend on the organism or pattern recognition can either either stimulate more the b cell b cell can will be converted to memory cell and will produce the antibody and some will remain as a as a memory cell on the other hand t lymphocyte can can t lymphocyte will be will be helper cell will stimulate the cytotoxic t cell cytotoxic t cell cell will just will recognize a cell that have the virus through MSC1 molecule and will destroy the cell that contain the virus. And some of the, some of the uh, cytotoxic or, or T lymphocyte will remain as a memory cell. So this is the pathway that is involved in the, uh, uh, in the immunity. And now we are coming to the what happens to the virus infected cell. Suppose it's a virus infected cell, what will happen? So, so virus, virus, this is the virus, this is, this is, this is engulfed by the but this is macrophage. Macrophage, is, macrophage has taken some of the virus. This virus is uh, clipped and surface antigen is, is uh, presented on the surface of the macrophage. Macrophage has stimulated the CD4. On the, on the other hand, virus infected cell itself has presented some of the antigen on the surface by MSC1 molecule. Another way, virus infected cell can stimulate the B cell. So when the B cell is stimulated, B cell again present the antigen through MSC2 molecule. So two T helper cell, the antigen will be presented in different way, either by the macrophage or, or by the B lymphocyte. When CD4 will be recognized, some antigen has entered in our body, it will either stimulate the B cell to produce antibody and to destroy directly, or it will produce, or it will produce the CD8 cell. CD8 cell will recognize the virus infected cell by MSC one molecule and will directly destroy this cell. So this is the way how the body gives immunity against the virus. Let us see how body gives the immunity against the bacteria. Bacteria is engulfed by the macrophage. So some of the part of the bacteria act as an antigen that is presented on the surface of the MSC two molecule. This is again recognized as CD4 lymphocyte. If the antigen or organism required the delayed hypersensitivity, such as microvector tuberculosis, so by IL2, macrophage will be further differentiated and will give delayed hypersensitivity. If the CD4 T lymphocyte recognized, the organism need the antibody mediated destruction, such as against the streptococcus, it will release more interleukin 4 and 5. Okay. And that will stimulate the B cell, and B cell in turn, in turn produces a lot of plasma cell. Plasma cell will produce the antibody, and that antibody will destroy the organism. So this is the immunity against the bacteria, something different from the viral immunity. So basic structure is the same. Macrophage acts as a link. Pivotal role is placed by the by the T helper cell, and and viruses, virus or bacteria is destroyed by the different way, by innate immunity 
or by acquired immunity by antibody or by or or by uh, cytotoxic t cell or by the macrophage itself so in this way immunity is given by against the virus and bacteria by your own body so this is the reference and uh, uh, thank you for any question and lastly not the least i have a big salute to the corona warrior for which still mankind is surviving in the world thank you